Harry, it looks like we're going on a boat today. Yep, that's Buffalo. Oh, I love Lake boats. Erie. <laughs> Please, anyone has the questions? So we can discuss you first. Mm. Mm. Who is going for question? I had a good one this morning, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Oh, this morning have questions? Mm. So then can I ask if uh, the people is here uh, morning who has questions? EDG. I, I had one this morning, but I can't find it. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, the, the can you hear me all right? I guess. Yes, I can hear. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we say, let's see, bodhicitta, karma. I can't think of it right. I gotta, I gotta think a little bit. Someone else go the first. Okay, then someone go first. Then they always ask questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, um, I was thinking it's so interesting that we um, expect mothers to be perfect. Um, I wondered about like karmic creditors. Are our mothers our karmic creditors? <laughs> and then do we feel like they really owe us and then they're not perfect and we're mad at them? Like, <laughs> um, uh, that's really my question. I kind of wonder about that. <laughs> so what do you mean? Uh, if your mother is not perfect, you mean uh, you upset with them to create a karma, you mean? No, I mean, um, we they owe us and we come into the world as their children and they have to work so hard you know to take care of us mm. and um and then that's how they pay back whatever they owe us you know by being our mothers but maybe we feel like they just didn't do a good enough job and we have resentment or something <laughs> because you know it's so common it's so so common for um for mothers just to be held at a high, high standard, in our culture anyway, higher standard. Dads, we kind of let off the hook. I don't really get it. <laughs> so, uh, what is your main question is that I didn't get that exactly. Are our parents, uh, you know, our karmic creditors, do we, do they kind of, um, we come into the world so they can take care of us to pay off their their debt to us. Mm. So, so, no, it's uh, when we meditate, this uh, love today is we talking about a love meditation, compassion meditation, right? So we have to thank the parents' kindness. Then the recognize all beings used to parents so that helps us growing our love for everyone growing compassion for everyone so long as like we uh comes uh, compassion our heart and com love for other beings uh, arise from our mind so then we can liberate that helps us use that method right so 
they otherwise like otherwise like oh these parents you know create us we have to pay back for them and then we are become parents so we take care of them then they will pay back for them so like that kind of thing that's called ex like existence right and then then very hard to wear things that way so main point is right now what we focus we focus creating our love for everyone create compassion for everyone so that really helps for our mind and also purify our karma so and then create accumulation merit and that helps we are become liberate yeah so that's why it's like we have to think about the parent mother first like present mother right so otherwise we are also used to parent for other beings too yeah so anyway who meditated this way and then that comes really love for everyone for compassion arise for everyone so that's why we meditate in this way that's also fact you know our youth to being parents mothers yes that's our core kind of like it so then who has a question okay i'm ready yes <clears throat> Okay, so you're, that's that, what you said just relates to my question. When we're meditating on love or generating love, compassion, and bodhicitta through meditation, we're certainly purifying karma. But I don't understand how we are helping others. I, I can understand, compa you know, active compassion mm -hmm. when you're, you're meeting in, in, uh, with somebody and and helping them in person but i don't understand how you're helping so we have that. during meditation mm -hmm. so when we meditate you know uh, just uh, recognize every being as our parents so then we see these beings as a suffering so that comes a strong compassion arise to them right comes compassion arise to them who the suffering uh, or other beings so then that uh, compassion actually uh, is cause of happiness so that compassion is the causes of whole, ha causes of happiness this morning I shared a lot that you know causes of happiness that helps our purify karma and then that is a, like interdependent connect with the others connect with the others so then that you know benefit to others because someone helps us to growing our compassion so this other oh, mother sentient being is an object of compassion so the mother sentient beings help us our growing our compassion right and that purify our karma and the same time that also helps for they also create a cause of happiness too it's, it's connected you know like interdependent yeah so not talking about a result you know directly helping something like Result. We're talking about cause. So when we meditate, uh, love and compassion, we wishing all these beings have a happiness, causes of happiness. We wishing all these beings free from suffering, causes of suffering. So we create a cause for them. The coming imprint, the connections become. So that's the reason. See. Think about someone passed away, someone sick. We do prayer for them. So we do prayer, how can we help them? 
because we not those that we not doing anything action. So only prayer, right? Okay. So we are not giving medicine. We are not checking them what problems. Okay. So they prayer for help or to help for them. So prayer help them is connect with compassion. Uh, first, when we do the prayers, whatever we do, this spiritual things, pray compassion. So that is the most important. The spiritual connection is compassion. Without the compassion, then it's the same as the worldly things. So cannot connect with the, the, the disease or disease anyone. Yeah. So patients who say or who pass well. So we do prayers for them. We cannot connect with them. Long as you have connect compassion, so that is called power of compassion. Ai. Power of compassion is to connect with the other beings, and then you do the prayer. It's also have a power of the the prayer. That is actually power of dharma. Then also the Dharma is a come from Buddha, so we chant the prayers, meditating Buddha, or Buddha Amitabha, so that is the power of Buddha. Then we do dedication, they have a power of dedication. So these powers all come together and benefit for disease, disease and also patients too. Yeah. So actually, how to be helping them, we create the causes of happiness for them, not removing their already pain and the suffering that results we not removing. So this morning I shared the see totally doctors have removed the result of suffering. Spiritual helps result uh, causes of suffering, you know, remove the causes of suffering. So future life, don't have to reborn to lower ramps, right? And future life, you don't get like kind of a disease and this, like this terrible sickness, like that kind, free from that. And the future life, free from sufferings. So that's the ritual and the practice that's the power. And then when we meditate, when we meditate, so like I told you this morning, Lord, so if you see someone, so you use that object who is suffering, who he or she or you know anyone like animals, human beings, anyone suffering, you see that object, then you can do tongue meditation or you can do just think about this who is suffering, wish death free from suffering, the causes of suffering, you know, use like your compassion. And uh, then that object actually helps growing our compassion. So then, you know, object also get benefited because it's a condition, like, you know, it's like become interdependent, connected to each other. So that's our thought. Okay. So I'm going to yeah. ask the question. It's slightly different. Okay. How is I generate, I generate compassion during meditation? And which kind of meditation are you talking about? Well, you know, the, the, the preparation for most meditations, you know. Mm. So, okay, today out, we did okay, the so, meditation. So the question is, is how is that compassion delivered to someone else? So compassion, how to liberate other someone else? Deliver it, yeah. How, how, how do you actually give it to them? How do they actually receive it? Uh, well, how question. to the, uh, the compassion receive other people, other beings? Yes. Yes, so 
that uh, many different ways, rich kind, you know, not due to the different situations, really. And uh, mother's compassion is uh, the kids, child receive easily, they receive it. Compassion received. Someone kind to us, we receive that. We recognize people whose kindness, whose compassion we receive, we recognize. So we can also we see the like people who have the compassion, they're helping for others. We can also I see that doing good things. So that is another way, right? Then it's more subtle level, more subtle level, how to receive. Uh, that is uh, like followed by causes of convictions, followed by causes of convictions. So just I already shared, like, you know, followed by interdependent. And uh, uh, so someone does some things, good things, that, you know, if that we can receive that, we can receive that. Example, so I go to another some who has a compassion, who has good practice of compassion, like Buddhist hours, I know someone. I ask them, please pray for these people, you know? So, you know, I offer them and I ask them to give in the names and everything, like please help them and pray for them. Okay, so this Buddhist hours has a strong compassion connect with these beings and the beings like just remove the obstacles and they get cause of happiness and then less you know uh, become uh, uh, the uh, less uh, obstacles and they become the beings get more accumulation merit so they receive that they can receive that yes so that is a follow by the spiritual and uh, uh, many stories like you know all these uh, spiritual beings just some ritual things other beings receiving that and we we do something and the pardo beings also receive that so we pardo beings also recognize our kindness we doing dedication for them yeah so that is more subtle level connections we don't directly see i okay we don't directly recognize but it's affected cause you know, remove the causes of suffering. It's uh, create causes of happiness for them. So that's kind of affected. And then some beings like have connect with the Dharma, connect with the spiritual things. They become like, you know, minds can be open and the heart open or like create a positive coming in friends. So that kind of be happening for them. You know, other beings like, in the you see the some animals dying, so maybe you chant on money pay me home or money pay me or really strong compassionately you chant for dedicate for them. So could be that animals also, you know, uh, remove their uh, some some causes of suffering, and they also get to connect with the Dharma. Don't know the next life or other life chance. Anyway, they already have something connect with the Dharma coming in print. You put it there. So they receive that. They recognize. They could be they recognize. Even they don't yes. recognize. But mm -hmm. left, go to left times and the left times, they really have been help for them. So that is all followed by, you know, karma cause and effect. Like we cannot think about right now. You know, right now he's a suffering, she's a suffering, or hope we can help them to release their suffering. Okay, so that thing is like, then we have to get medicine. Just temporarily can help, medicine can help temporarily. But spiritual is, spiritual care is like permanently caring, you know, not temporarily caring. It's created causes of happiness, slowly they become life is changing. Okay. So it's so it sounds like the it's delivered by the spiritual, it's delivered by the deities in the proper time and place. It sounds like, is that a correct observation? Uh, uh, I didn't get that. Can you say again? 
the deities deliver uh. deliver it for you oh yeah it could be that's also we can say like true because the power of a buddha that is delivery dharma also delivery power of dharma compassion also delivery power of compassion our dedication also delivery you know power of dedications so there are all these different ways it's a delivery to them okay so so that makes sense to me when when i'm not there in person if i'm there in person it's it's different but so mm -hmm. i was asking the spiritual question i guess that's, that's yeah. I, thank you you're welcome so thing we have to follow thing about the spiritual way yeah and uh what do they think then okay of course like someone said Talking really help for ritual things. Just get medicine like that, yeah? Medicine helps. Medicine helps for the, of course, the right way. And the medicine can reduce the, the pain, release. But that only helps temporarily. And still they have some causes of uh, suffering. So even uh, some is not in, arise in this life, causes of suffering is future lives. Spiritual prayer practice helps that also removing the causes of suffering. So not removing the causes of, uh, remove the uh, causes of suffering of a result. So that's our recognize, see, we chant the medicine Buddha. So everybody, people say, they always say, I want the medicine Buddha, so pray for me, medicine Buddha. Everyone said that. And uh, so then you really look into the medicine Buddha, what that says. Free from lower realms. This medicine Buddha, the prayer, effected free from lower realms. The talking about the lower realms is not talking about the right now, you think it's removing, you know. So free from lower realms free from causes of disease. So free from causes of disease means like, we have lots of causes of, uh, co like causes of disease. And uh, maybe end of life or future life anytime. So removing that kind of, uh, you know, cause or negative causes removed, the prayer helps. So it's a good time to do sometimes when we have a difficulty time. Then that time is like really want, really want. So same is like sauna club, lunar club, we said we have to do paint the dumb prayer. So something, you know, time create like makes we are more get effort. And the same time, same thing, when we get sick, when we get a suffering, so when we lose our loved ones, then we do something. That time is our mind is like easy to connect with the spiritual things. So that time have to do this prayer practice. So then really have for the disease and who pass away, you know, who said we can help them. And uh, so now it's just a coronavirus affected so many beings, so many people sick. So we use this Panashawari practice like you know for that reason and this panashavara practice we already read many times they all like actually benefit is remove the causes of disease so the, they didn't talk about the same it's a medicine you know you eat this your pain is released they're not in the prayers no mention about the release pains right they release uh, like causes of the suffering. They always talk about that. So then, if we use this practice, meditate correctly, of course, the benefit right away too. So when we have some kind of like unpleasant feeling, not really happy, and you know, kind of something going on. So we really sit down and meditate, use this practice. This mind become open, relax. It's big difference, you know, transform. 
So it's change. Big change. Even your listening teaching takes time, it really helps. If I share the teaching also really helps like become my mind different after when starting teaching and the end of big, the teaching between it's big different transformed. Big different minds become more relaxed and more peaceful and the fear is like more joy, you know, like that kind of like slowly, slowly talk about the more dharma and arise. And the same time, the same thing, like when we meditate also, that kind of like feeling is arise. That's we recognize ourselves. Yeah. So think about the how to benefit the dharma, like when we have anger, so we calm down and meditate this love and compassion. So you really use this right to wear. It's 30 minutes after your minds become different. So that actually helps right away there. But then also that remove actually causes of suffering, loss, purify karma too. Not only, you know, like, our anger is just come down. Our like emotions like start down. The when we have emotions, we practice, we use the practice. That also helps. Lots karma is purifying. And also that prayer practice helps for who create the difficulty for us too. Yeah. So that's why this morning I share like mother can be two objects. One is like love object, one is like compassion object. So you use compassion object. Then that helps, really helps mother to purify her karma too. So rather the upside, you know, usually regular beings, we know mother is like doing something not incorrect. So we upset, you know, then we don't want to talk we don't want to be with them. They will say, oh, my mother is wrong. I cannot be with her. So still you can behave love, but you really don't want to be with that. So then you, that time you use a compassion practice, compassion meditation. And uh, so it's very good. This uh, Shanti Deva mentioned a lot about this, all to practice patience. So we have, Saying about this mother's difficulties due to the emotion. So we recognize that and then comes really come our mind because it's like remove our anger at the same time also that create positive karma from our mothers too. So the same thing like we can create for good cause. Uh, cause, uh, causes for our someone, you know, difficult makes for difficult for us, so we can make them good connection to that that practice. Yeah. So this love meditation, compassion meditation is we can do the close eye, we can meditate, but. The very important is like daily life, we have to use this practice, you know. Then can more effective because uh, we see the people has, uh, you know, difficulties, uh, sufferings, we wish them have a happiness. So who has the sufferings, we, you know, wish them free from the suffering. So generally, you, we can do all the time that practice when we see the people who have difficulties or animals, where is the difficulties. So we can use that object and meditate. Sometimes like we say, okay, close eye, meditate, love for all mothers. Then it's hard to bring sometimes anything in the mind, you know. Even your mind is like, uh, uh, even like your mother is able to like your mind in the front of you, but you really cannot create a lot of for meditate something, you know. So that's the reason. 
good to do is generally, and then of course the read this uh, 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 teaching and the listening again, study, and then that helps become get more awareness, mindful. So then generally we create always like love for others, compassion to others. So meditate. Yeah. Okay, EDG, no? You have more questions? I'm good. Thank you. Mm. I'd like to share something, Kempo. Yes, sir. Uh, this is uh, a prayer in, in the form of a poem by my friend Michelle DeMello and our very own Sangha member, Michelle DeMello. And she wrote this after the uh, after your teachings on love uh, yesterday morning, and she asked me to share this uh, to the group. So it's called "To the Sangha." From the child that resides within, that longs to be held by the divine mother, the heart of innocence entrusted to the uncorrupted, the wounded mothers and abandoned or smothered children shut down from true seeing, love with strings of attachment and self-clinging, primordial mother, liberator within, may I reparent and awaken the purity that purifies the discordant family, boundless love, free from bondage, home, the primordial family. That's by Michelle DeMello. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Michelle, is, uh, Thank you, Shell. She's here. Or... I am. Oh. Thank you, Campo Sunda. Thank you. Okay. So, then anyone has questions? So if no questions, then we have to meditate. Love meditation, compassion meditation. Okay, so now we do that then together. It's, a, it's good time, it's like half hour is like question and answer and half hour we meditate. <clears throat> so now we Think about kindness, our mothers, recognize that we meditate. So first we meditate a little bit, uh, love meditation. This thing about our mother's kindness.
you think about you are reborn many lot from the samsara so same thing this by we have right now in our present mother used to be reborn many lot from and then during that time we have mother so no recognize all this thing used for our mother looking at Maybe to recognize all these things which our mother we send them for the happiness. Or no meditate right come on so may you harder or difficulty or unpleasant that person's bring to your mind so wish that person has happiness wishing the cause of happiness meditate recognize that person is used to our mother Anyone when you charge all enemies or when you walk when the co-workers or neighbors anyone so when you was born to enter no anyone may you had the difficulties that that you have feeling recognize that person's kind of like not good and a stranger something so bring that person in your mind wish that person has happiness free from suffering. We send happiness, causes of happiness.
No, next we're going to meditate compassion. No, this mother thinking being used to our parents, mothers. Parent beings and this parent beings used to our mothers when they are our mother, so they protect us, heat and the cold. So, no, our mothers and the rest are extremely suffering and eat around and call around so we wish the children a suffering first big life eat around suffering is from heart extremely hard so pausing turn the heat of the in our fire so that kind of fire burning in the herons due to their karma. So recognize this who gets suffering, this burning. This being is used to our mother. And when they are our mothers, they protect us our heat. So no this mother's suffering and bless their we wish this mother free from suffering. Use this heaven being's object comes arise compassion our heart. So until that we have meditate.
no meditate the parents quadrants is being extremely cold pausing tongue quarter in this world is called as weather pausing tongue quarter the heavens in our world called as weather so there are so many beings in the lower land due to karma so we wishing this so from their suffering so first we can acknowledge their suffering and then and meditate compassion free from suffering No, we meditate uh, so many different diverse the hungry gods the due to the karma especially the hungry gods mean suffering is hunger and thirsty so these all beings used to our parents you no know, due to karma so extremely thirsty and hunger you can uh, these beings used to our mother when they are our mother so that time these mothers keep food for us drinking for us drink for us and taking care of our life so no due to their trauma they can uh, take care of their own themselves and end less suffering thirsty and hunger so we wish each being mother is free from hungry girls meditate cultivate
It and modern. So this brings use to our mothers. When they are used to our mother and they're giving education and teach what is the edge of what is this color for us giving so much education. No due to ignorance, they are endless suffering. So we can this all animal beings used to our parents. And which they free from suffering. Causes of suffering. Oh, man, 
is a practice uh, compassion, practice love, <laughs> practice <laughs> Buddhist, <laughs> practice wisdom, all is included in Om Mani Pei Hong. So then, Om Mani Pei Hong benefit alien beings, animals, hungry gods, human, all the sex realms, karma is removing. <laughs> so, Om Mani Pei Hong. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.